As many operating system vendors, your 48 also relies on Linux underneath everything that you see. Now, you can unleash several commands and use the sysctl command with the fn sysctl. Now, you can do lots of things with it. You can unleash the files and directories on your 40 gate. You can kill processes. You can view processes. You can see errors on different interfaces. So let's look at the hidden Linux shell on your 40 gate. All right, so let's start. So you can use different Linux commands such as ls to list files and directories, cut to view different files, uh, ifconfig to view the different interfaces, but you will have to use the f and sysctl before. So the very first thing that we will do is use the known ifconfig to list just about every interface on your 48, including its MAC address, including its IP address, transmitted packets, error, and so on. Now, if you want to view a specific interface, you will use the same command, but you will uh, uh, choose your interface. So if I'll use port one, I will see just about everything on port one. All right, the next thing that we can do with the FNCTL is to list the different processes that are running on your 40 gate. You can also use it to kill all processes. Now, usually we see processes using the diagsys top, but here you can actually do it using the FN Sys City L. All right, let's stop that. Now, one more thing that you can do is to list uh, the different directories, the different files on your 40 gate. That is using the ls command. Here we can see different directories. We have the main storage data. That is data two is probably the flash storage data. Um, let's use it. You can get inside of different directories, different folders. So let's get into the proc folder. The proc folder is actually uh, a virtual file system that is being created by the kernel. So let's continue. Let's use the, again the ls command. And this time we will look at the bin folder that actually contains all those executables that are needed uh, during the boot time. So these are all the executables. All right, let's again look at the root directory and let's, um, let's this time look at the system file configurations, which are at the ADC directory but nothing here nothing is shown here let's just look at that again no nothing here um let's look at the root again nothing is shown here let's look at the var directory now, the var folder in Linux is a place where the operating system actually writes data uh, throughout its operations. So let's see if we can see something in the DHCP no or at the storage. No, no, no. Let's look at the log. Let's everything is probably all right so we can see that we have um here different files different folders um let's look let's try to open one using the cat command so let's uh just copy this one and let's see no No, it is not allowed. All right. Uh, we can see that we have the DLP fingerprint. That is uh, a, a checksum that is done on different files that you want to look at when uh, 
you create a, a data leak prevention sensor. All right, so analytics backup, um, crash logs, image cache, what memory, what crash log. Again, you can look at the different directories. You can look at the different files. Uh, most of them are actually being regulated. They're all not, they're not allowed to uh, look that, uh, but there are several places that you can actually look and get deeper into the file system and the different directories.